Alright, let's just take a second to appreciate this overlay. First of all, I will admit, this is not the entirety of Yu Darvish's arsenal. Like, he has so many different variations of pitches that it's hard to record and pinpoint what is what sometimes. But I'm just here to say that I am so excited for this guy to be in San Diego now. For all I know, he has like 20 pitches and they're all elite. But the reason I'm making this video is because I had this question pop up in my head the other day. You know, in spring training, the pitchers are usually ahead of the hitters. It takes hitters more time to adjust the timing than it does for pitchers to pitch well, in my opinion. Like, if you've ever played, like, high school ball, your first, like, month back in winter ball, right before the season, you're just terrible. Like, your first couple of bats, you can't time anything. As soon as you get the timing right on the fastball, they throw you a changeup and you're like, dude, I, I can't time it. That's why I think that pitchers are usually ahead to begin the season, at least in spring training. But obviously that might be different because now players play in the winter leagues and so maybe they never lost their timing to begin with. But anyways, I still haven't told you guys what this video is about. The question I had the other day was if pitchers take time to warm up, take like the most average pitcher in the world, let's say he only has two solid pitches, a fastball changeup, like Chris Paddock, which reminds me to remind you to watch the previous video about my views on Chris Paddock for this upcoming season. But take a pitcher like that, a pitcher who only uses two pitches, and they need a certain amount of pitches, a certain amount of innings to get warm and get their full arsenal ready. And if some of those pitchers don't even get ready by the end of spring training, my question is, does it take even longer for guys like you, Darvish, who have like seven, eight pitches to get ready? Like, no matter how tough of a pitcher you are, there's only a certain amount of pitches you could throw on a given day before your arm just blows out and you can't pitch. And if that's the case, then there's no way a pitcher with seven or eight pitches can master to the level that a pitcher with only two pitches can master his two pitches. Now, I don't have the time right now to look into every single pitcher in the world, so I'm just going to use you, Darvish as an example, and I'm going to look at his arsenal and see how that changes over the course of a season. And if it changes significantly enough, then I think we can draw some conclusions based on it. But yeah, let's get into this. All right, so since pitchers pitch to righties and lefties differently, let's split up Yu Darvish's pitches between lefties and righties to start off. So if we just look at the right-handed hitters to begin with, at the beginning of the 2020 season in July, Yu Darvish's arsenal during this month consisted mainly of his cutter, fastball, and sinker. But at the end of the season during September, his arsenal looks different. He started throwing the slider at a rate of 16% against righties, when in July, he only threw it 9% of the time. His sinker usage dropped from 11% to 3.5%, so clearly there were definitely differences in how he was pitching between these two months. Again, if you look at how he threw against left-handed hitters, he primarily threw a cutter, curve, and fastball during the first month of the season. But by September, he was throwing at the cutter way less, and he started throwing his sinker more and his slider more. If you look at his 2019 season, it's more of the same. He starts off throwing his fastball cutter and slider at a really high rate, and then by the end of the season, it's mainly his cutter curveball and slider that he's throwing, and he's not even throwing his fastball that much. Now this seems to indicate that as the season progresses, there's one of two things happening. Either Darvish figures out which pitches are working better and he starts throwing those more or he's finding his feel for these pitches more as the season progresses. In my personal opinion, I think it's a little bit of both. If we look at how he started the 2020 season and how he ended the 2019 season, he ends the 2019 season throwing his cutter a decent amount and then he starts the 2020 season throwing that same cutter at a high usage rate. That seems to me like he figured out that this cutter was better than his fastball, or at least his other pitches worked better off of his cutter. So he carried over that knowledge and basically just stuck with it. As his career progresses, he's figuring out what works and he's playing to his strengths. But also, I do think that it takes him a little longer than the average pitcher to get his full arsenal together because he has so many pitches. To begin the 2020 season, he throws the fastball a decent amount. It may not be his primary pitch, but he throws it at a higher usage rate than he does in the following months to come. In the same way in 2019, he threw the fastball the most in his first month of the season. Clearly, the fastball is most pitchers' 
bread and butter. It's what they're most used to throwing. And while they're taking time in bullpens and on off days to develop their secondary pitchers, I think Darvish likes to throw that fastball just because it feels comfortable. All this is to say that I don't think Darvish is dumb. I think he, he's very intentional and smart with what he's doing. He's figuring out what pitches work as the season progresses and he starts throwing those more often. But I also do think that it takes him a little longer to get all his pitches up to speed or as, as good as he wants them to be just because he has so many pitches. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing in my opinion. You can be elite with a single pitch like Mariano Rivera and his cutter. Or you could be like you Darvish with this overlay. And as a hitter, how the heck are you going to prepare to hit all of these pitches at the same time? Guys, I'm thinking about starting a fantasy baseball league, and I'm wondering if any of you guys would be interested in joining. Leave a comment down below if you are.